Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the first in a series of videos where we are going to look at the Spring Creators Update. Review it, see all the new features, so everything you want to know about it is going to be in here. So in this first video, of course, we're going to answer the basic questions. First of all, what is Windows 10 Spring Creators Update or version 1803 as some might want to call it? It's the latest version of Windows 10. So you might, you know, long gone is the days when Windows was that static thing that you had. So you had Windows 7 and Windows 7 stayed the same pretty much all the time. Windows 10 is a work in progress. It's something that's always being updated all the time. Typically every six months, so twice a year, we get a update. The latest version, well, it's coming on April 10th. So set your calendar. April 10th, you will get Windows 10 Spring Careers update. So it's the latest version. What it does, it simply adds new features to your Windows 10 operating system. And look at the next videos. We're going to have several videos showing you in the review all the new features and all the changes that have come from Fall Careers Update, which is the actual uh, version right now, to the Spring Careers Update coming up on April the 10th. Will it slow down your computer? It should not. Uh, personally, I see no performance differences from one version to the other. It should still be okay. Then, uh, how will you get it? How do you get Windows 10 Spring Careers Update? Well, on April the 10th, at some point during the day, Microsoft will open the floodgates. It's going to download through Windows Update. That means you will simply get it from the Windows Update where you get your usual updates. So it's going to show up here. You'll be able to check for updates. Maybe it's going to appear the first day. You'll see something called Windows 10 Feature Update or Windows 10 Version 1803 or whatever. And it's going to download from there for uh, some people on April the 10th, but not everybody. Why? Because it's rolling out in waves. They're going to push it to the first machines that they are sure that actually it works. So that's going to be the first machines. And if your machine is not one that they're sure, it might not see it on April 10th. It might take some time. It might take several months for it to appear for some of you. And it's the way that Windows 10 has been actually rolling in or rolling out to pretty much everybody. It's going to take how long? Well, technically, most of the installs are less than an hour. But of course, depending on the computer you have, depending on the system you have and how old your computer is, it could be more than an hour for some of you. But they're trying hard to make it as, you know, um, as fast as possible. Uh, what they say is, you know, the less downtime possible, so the less time with your computer not being usable. It will also be available and updated for those that want to maybe take the occasion to do a clean install, reinstall from scratch. Well, it will also be updated on the download page of Windows 10 that you see here. So if you click the Update Now button, or if you click the Download Tool Now button, all of that will be updated. So if you have um, a USB thumb drive, for example, that you have Fall Careers Update, well, you'll be able to use the creation tool here and actually create a new the USB thumb drive that will have the latest version of Windows 10. Now, not before April 10th. It's very important to understand that. So typically, that's how you can get it. It will either download automatically. If you want to have it, you can actually go and get it by yourself with the um, download page here. And um, last but not least, if you want to have it, I suggest to everybody, I think the best thing is to wait for it to arrive to your machine. Because it, there's reasons why it's not showing up in your Windows updates. For a lot of people, that reason is very simple. It's very, very, you know, probably basic and might not really change much. But for some of you, the reason why it's not showing up is because they know something is wrong. So that's why you might not see it. So that's why I don't think people should push it. And the last two versions, Creators Update and Fall Creators Update, what we have seen is that people that typically waited for it to arrive by itself usually had a good install. 
people that pushed it, there were a little more people that had some problems with it. So um, that's what you got to understand about it. So it's coming up April 10th, and of course, start looking at the videos that I'll be posting today, where we're going to start looking at all the little intricate details and features, what's new in the Windows 10 Spring Careers Update. You'll be able to see everything that they've changed, everything that is new, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy this new feature, this new update of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.